is devoted to ALICE, a large ion collider experiment. ALICE is one of the four LHC detectors designed to study the high energy collisions from the LHC. It is also an international collaboration, including over a thousand physicists and engineers from 105 physics institutes in 30 countries across the world. detector is situated right here at the bottom of this pit, 52 meters below my feet. But today we have no access to Alice because, and this is the news, today Alice has got beam. And here in the ALICE control room, situated on the surface of the LHC.2 area, we find Jürgen Schukraft, spokesperson of the ALICE collaboration. I understand that this experiment has also a special and unique purpose, that is to study quark-gluon plasma. What is quark-gluon plasma? Why is it important to understand it? You see, Paula, everybody is special, and Alice is special that we are uh, also using not the normal proton beams, but heavy ion beams, in fact, lead beams, so the biggest nuclei we can find. The LHC then collides them, and then the temperature is so high that everything melts. It's 100,000 times higher than in the center of the sun. And then we produce a, a tiny little bit of what I would call the primordial soup of the universe. That's the stuff the universe was made of, uh, about a micro second, a millionth of a second after the Big Bang. And we are interested in that because uh, the history of the universe uh, had a lot of dramatic changes. And the stuff before and after these changes was very different. We technically call it a phase transition. Like water, if you go to very low temperature, it's ice. And if you heat it up, it becomes water. So it's very different. And of these many dramatic changes, of these many phase transitions, the one we are studying with lead nuclei, that was the last one which happened in the history of the universe. And that's why we want to actually uh, let it happen and see what was the matter like at the very beginning. So that's why we are using lead beams, actually. And this is quark-gluon plasma? And that's what we call the quark-gluon plasma, yes. Which is quarks deconfined. Which is quarks and gluon and plasma. It's everything what is inside the lead nuclei melts, so the quarks, the gluons, and it becomes a big soup, a featureless soup, uh, which was the stuff of the early universe. You just said that you will you'll be using lead nuclei. So basically, the LHC will have a special beam for you, colliding nuclei of lead. Is this what is happening right now? <laughs> today, no. No, today we get actually the garbage. <laughs> but of course, what they do is they have protons, which they accelerate in the SPS, and they send it on a dump, on a big block of material, which absorbs all these protons. And what comes out, what I call just garbage, is lots of muons and other particles, which can go through this block. And that's what we actually observe today. The debris of the proton beams, which is dumped some 300, 400 meters downstream of the, of the experiment, actually. And it still arrives to Alice. Actually, it arrives a lot of them, so many that we can't switch on all of our detectors. We have measured it yesterday. We have about one particle every 10 square centimeter. Uh, that's not a lot for the detectors close to the beam, but the ones which are far away, they are not used to so many particles. So actually, we had to switch them off. And why is this garbage useful, in a way? <laughs> uh, because it tells us, actually, uh, first of all, that the detectors we switch on are working, so they measure the garbage. And the second thing is we can actually look at the time between the time the particles arrive when they make a signal and the time the electronic signals arrive then at our computer. And because there are so many cables, we actually have to make sure they all arrive at the same time. And that's what we have just measured. Because they all start at the same time, they arrive at different times, and then we have to what we call do time alignment. Make sure that they arrive at the very same instant. And that's what we did over the last two days. After the intense but short days with BEAM, work at the ALICE detector continues with the installation of the missing sub-detectors. 
On July 13th, the PMD photon multiplicity detector is descended into the cavern and is now integrated. The last pieces, two modules of the electromagnetic calorimeter and some photon spectrometer modules are following. By September, Alice will close its doors to start a cosmic run, waiting for beams from the LHC.